Maya Sundermeyer and I'm here again doing another blog with you. As you all can see, the scenery has changed and I now have a video recording device instead of a webcam and so I'm able to um, record in my bedroom. But anyway, I'm here to talk briefly with you about my experiences of li living independently. Um, about 11 years ago, I had moved into a roommate situation with two older roommates, I mean not elderly, they were, well, when I mean older, they were in their uh, late 20s and I was in my early ones. And um, it was during this time that I had this mindset that I thought that the grass was greener on the other side of the fence because at that time I uh, had been told by various teachers and various social workers that I'm low-functioning autistic, uh, my IQ is below normal, the older I would get the more help I would need, I need to be under a conservatorship or a guardianship, the only type of work I can do is just janitorial work because uh, they thought asking questions would be too, to me would be too complex for me to answer. And being me, I wanted to prove all of them wrong by breaking through a barrier and letting them know, hey, just because you guys say something about me doesn't mean you know me. So I got my opportunity to live on my own with two roommates. And uh, it was during this time that, first of all, I let them know, or I did not let them know that I uh, had high functioning autism. And I thought it was going to be peachy keen. And I thought that I was going to have uh, a nice set of roommates. Um, roommates almost as if I was living in a dormitory and I would be automatically become best friends with them and they would be supportive of me no matter what because I was younger and I was a lot of fun and I was wrong. It turned out that when I moved into the uh, situation I realized then that the grass was not greener on the other side of the fence because first of all I had to mow that grass all the same just like I had to mow the grass metamor metaphorically in, uh, in the, uh, on the other side where I was told uh, I was not capable of living on my own. And uh, for starters, uh, my roommates discovered that, that there was a problem because I didn't tell them that I had autism. And so they automatically thought I was careless. And they also knew I was very immature, even though I was 21 years old. To them, I was about maybe 14, 15. And here they were, they were, almost, they were in their late 20s, early 30s. So, as you can tell, I mean, there's a big age gap between somebody who's 15 and somebody who's 30. Uh, when you're 15, you want to do things like uh, hang with your friends, get the coolest video games, watch cartoons, go to a football game. Maybe, maybe if you're nerdy, sit and read a book and, or maybe go to a sci-fi convention and dress up like your favorite character. And then there's a mature adult who's a neurotypical and they're going to be more interested in things like getting the house cleaned, paying their bills on time, um, making sure they go to the dentist. And so you see the difference between the two. And of course uh, the adjustment was very difficult for me and um, I often found that uh, living with these two roommates alone was uh, very overwhelming for me. Uh, and for starters, I uh, had tried to live on my own with them. I uh, had tried to do things my way and I ended up uh, getting yelled at by, by, by one of them who uh, grew extremely frustrated because uh, here I was when I agreed to sign the lease, I was supposed to mow the lawn, take out the trash, shovel snow, clean the bathroom, help pay the bills, and immediately she grew frustrated when I wasn't doing those things right away. And she especially became frustrated when she knew that I did not know how to mow the lawn. And again, for me, but I mean, I had, I had to mow that grass all the same because it was not greener on the other side of the fence. Um, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.